Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scout Radio, your number one home for all fried chicken related discussion. Hey, yo, what's up guys? It's a friendly neighborhood scout here, and today we're sitting down with my boy Moose Lick to talk about some really important stuff like Australia and why they do weird crap like celebrate Christmas in the summertime. How's it going there, Moose Lick? Come on, man. We talked about this before the show. That is not how you say my name. Right, yeah, okay, so that, that actually leads us to our first question, which is, how do you say your name? It's pronounced Moose Elk, like Moose Elk. So it's like a, like a moose and an elk together, like, like the, like the ultimate deer hybrid? Yeah, sure, something like that. Do they actually have those in Australia? You know, I heard that the land down under is filled with genetically superior animals. So, so what, they got like the moose elk, the, the giant centipede, the gigantipede? Why'd you pick Moose Elk out of all the other super animals? It could have been the Gigantipede! Man, you ever seen an Australian Gigantipede? Those things are terrifying! They're almost as bad as the Gigantaroos! So, let me- let me ask you this, cause this is important. You ever gotten into a fight with a gigantic centipede before? Cause I actually did that one time, you know what happened? I wrecked it! <sighs> Man, we don't just wreck them down here in Australia, we beat them to death with a shovel, and then we eat them! Tons of nutrition in those bugs. I hear people in France! We're also kind of fond of eating, you know, giant insect centipede things. De okay, first of all, that's freaking disgusting. And second of all, we don't- we don't talk about French people. Alright, that's- that's just as disgusting. Alright, don't talk- we already t I thought we discussed this already. Uh, okay, Matt, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought it up. I forgot there's still that tension between you and the spy, with, you know, him sleeping with your mom, and maybe being your dad, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, that's never been- we, we, I, we, that has never been confirmed! That, that is- that- I, I don't- there, there's no- I'm- we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on from this. Okay, sure thing, man. Sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. I know it's a sensitive topic, and, you know, whatever you need to tell yourself to get to sleep at night. Hey, Moose Face, you better watch your freaking mouth, you hear me? Or I swear to God, I'm coming all the way down. I'm coming all the way down under, straight to Australia, right into the heart. Right into the heart of Australia, with a bat in hand, and it's gonna find a side of your face, you understand me? Matt, you can't just go around town beating people up with a bat. You can go to jail for that kind of crap. No, no, see, that's the thing. Not me, though. I'm too fast for that. They couldn't hold me. I'm too fast for jail. I'm like Robert Redford in that one movie where he goes to jail and then he dies, but first he puts the American flag up on the flagpole. You ever see that movie, Moose? Green Mile? I got no freaking idea what you're talking about. I've never seen Green Mile. I did see this one pretty cool movie, though, called, uh, called Expiration Date. You, uh, you remember that one? You remember, remember that one? I, I, I especially like the part where you got rejected by Miss Pauling for the 13th time. That was, that was a definite highlight for me. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's not really how I remember it. I remember eating bread. I remember there was some bread there, and I'm, and I got like a hot date at the end of it. Okay, man, but, but I, I gotta ask, I mean, Miss Pauling's pretty nice, but have you seen that Tracer chick? She's a bit of a, bit of a looker, huh? Reckon you got a, reckon you got a new person to take to the gun show. Dance a chick? I thought that was just some dude with a great ass, like me! Nah, man, she's she's definitely a chick. I mean, I know those Brits can sound a little bit manly at times, but she's definitely single. I mean, I, I, I gotta ask, though, do, do you feel at all, like, you know, threatened by her? I mean, I mean, sure, you're pretty fast, but Tracer can, you know, teleport and rewind time. Got any, got any concerns? The administrator might just replace you? Replaced? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm sure if I had an Iron Man chest thingy and pointless ski goggles, I could teleport through time, too. Nah, I ain't worried. Take away her voodoo magic cramp and she's just a dime a dozen slow moving scumbag. You know, I, I've got about as much chance of being replaced by her as you do with unboxing something that ain't an SMG. Oh, you son of a bitch, you crossed the line right there, man. You promised when I came on here that SMGs were off limits. We weren't going to talk about this. You told me it was just going to be a friendly discussion. Dead. Doesn't really sound like something I'd say. I, I don't really have a recollection of that conversation, and, and I say a lot of stuff, right? Like this one time, I was talking to this guy from France, and I was like, Hey, dumbass, stay away from my mom, and I was, I was flexing at him, and then, and then I punched him in the back of the head, and he was all like, Oh, Scout, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I'm not your dad. Screw this. And then I was like, yeah, you damn right you ain't my dad. And then I dated like 400 attractive human females simultaneously, which means at the same time, and, uh, Hey, Moose Tits, just so we're clear, right? Spy's not my dad. You know, you know what I'm saying? M Moose Tits? Moose Tits, you there? Uh, yeah, so I guess, I guess it looks like we lost the connection there. So, Australia things, you know, but, but thanks for listening to the Scout Radio, and remember to tune in next week when I'll be talking about things that, that ain't Australia, that ain't France, and that are definitely not my dad. Uh, yeah. See ya.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm actually still kind of mind blown that I got to make something as cool as this. I want to give a massive shout out to Nathan, also known as Chili of Destiny, the scout's voice actor for helping me put this whole thing together. Obviously, without him, it wouldn't have been possible. Nathan has actually got a Twitch stream of his own where he streams a lot of TF2 as well as some other games and sometimes even does some crazy stuff like going into pubs to mess with people as the scout. It's pretty funny and really, really entertaining. So I would definitely recommend you click the link to Nathan's stream, which is down in the description and go check him out.